and it's Pixie. Glad you could join me today. We are gonna play some fun writing games. Um, I've been doing this a uh, bit to um, warm up before my Camp NaNoWriMo writing sessions and it's been a lot of fun so I want to share that with you. Um, quick update on my Camp NaNo progress. <clears throat> Itch. I, <laughs> it is today April 6th and I'm a little behind because life is exhausting and yeah. Uh, so that's not too great, but don't blame the games for that. Don't hate the game, hate the player. No, don't hate me. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Uh, <laughs> but it's, it's a lot of fun. I've, um, it's a project I've been working on for like nine months, uh, but I haven't gotten very far and I've recently changed the point of view so like one of the main side characters is now my protagonist and I love her, she's great. Um, so I'm, I'm having fun with that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, also, also, this video is dedicated to my cabin friends, Elise and Maria. Thank you for hanging out with me and for putting up with my games. Um, I think it's super fun and I'm glad you're doing this with me. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Alright, I have busted out some glitter pens to write these down with because I love glitter but I don't use these nearly enough and that's that's sad uh, but that's on me let's start with the purple one so um, I'm gonna say that I invented these games but I'm well aware oh. I'm aware that they may have been thought of before, and they probably have. What I mean is that I haven't seen them around, um, so I didn't pick them up from somewhere, except like the amalgamation of ev every impression my brain has ever had that always comes into play when I make stuff. Um, so quick disclaimer, anyway, exercise number one. Actually, I'm gonna do it on this side, because this is where the light is. One! Be your own fandom. Uh, what the heck do I mean? Um, well, I think it's really fun to, like, start a writing session with, like, imagining yourself writing super successfully and being like, super inspired and in a great flow and just yeah so uh for example uh, and you don't have to show this to anyone i would encourage you to like keep it to yourself to keep it as fun and loose as possible sorry for wiggling the desk there um but i'm gonna just write a little sentence to demonstrate Just an example. Uh, this is just to get you pumped. Um, and I think it's fun because I, I, I just love fanfic. So, you know, any chance to write a little fic. Ooh, okay. I, I really like this as well. I did this the other week when I was stuck on a scene. And it actually helped. So. Oh. <laughs> One, three. <laughs> I'm an artist. I don't have to know maths. Uh, I actually do. Uh, two. <laughs> there we go. Well done, me. Uh, what not to do. So basically what this is, is that um, either if you're starting a new story, you could just think, what am I not going to write? Or... Um, and if you're working on something, you can think about like the upcoming scene or upcoming chapter or whatever. And just write a list uh, of things that aren't gonna happen. So, for
for example, I am absolutely not going to write about nuclear war. Um, I'm also not going to write about vampires. Um, I'm not going to write about broken pencils. <laughs> you get the idea. Um, I would encourage you to make a longer list, but you can make it however long or short you want, because this game is for you. It's for fun. It's just to, like, get your brain going, make it wild, make it happen. I think this is useful, because, um, um, because it kind of uh, lets your mind wander off in other, to other places than where your story is. And I think that can help bring more life to your story, if that makes sense. Okay, let's see if I can get this one to work. Uh, three. All right, let's look at my cheat sheet. Oh, rhymes, yes. I love rhymes. Um, this is just to play with words and literally just pick a word and just write down every rhyme you can think of without looking at a rhyme website. So, okay, I have the pride book in front of me, so I'm gonna do pride. Pride. Stride. Glide. Uh, etc. <laughs> I just think this is fun. I just love, I just like rhymes. And it's just too. It's just to have fun. I think it's good to have fun. How many times can I say have fun in this video? Comment down below if you uh, like having fun. <laughs> mm. Ooh, okay, this is an exciting one. Okay, I'd call this one Sense Swatches. Um, oh, this pen is dying. Let's go realize that. Uh, there we go. So, uh, this is obviously inspired by like swatching out uh, art supplies, and I was thinking uh, that using sensory description is a very useful tool when you're writing. So I thought a good warm up would be to like, um, uh, well, to do that. So wherever you are, just like uh, write a description of what you're, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're tasting, and what you're smelling. Are those the senses? So, for example, I'm not gonna do all five, um, but for example, you can make your descriptions as good or bad as you like. The next one, ooh, I feel like I say about every single one that they're fun, but I think they are. That is the whole point. Number five. Uh, is your favorite, I can't talk and write at the same time apparently. Your favorite things about writing, just in general. Which I think is really great as a reminder before you start writing to like, why, why do you like doing this? Because we, we do need discipline to be consistent and sometimes we will write when we don't feel like it and all that stuff. But this little warm up is just a good reminder and like bringing some, some more joy to it, I think. So yeah, just your like, why, why do you like writing? What are your favorite things about it? It doesn't need to be like a whole list, it can just be one thing. You know, adapt these as, as you see fit. There, there are no rules. Hmm, what color haven't I used? Did I use all of them? No, I have one left. Maybe this red. I think this is red. Let's see if it works. It does, sort of. Okay. Yes, okay. This is kind of similar to number two, 
but it's titles of stories you're not writing. And I know this has been done before, but I have no idea who to credit, because uh, I've just... This is something I have seen around uh, that I just think is fun. So if you happen to know the originator, feel free to let me know. And obviously feel free to, like, not do any of these that you don't like. And yeah, just, just do what makes you happy. Can I say fun again? I'm gonna say fun. Do whatever you think is fun. Fun, fun. And these will all eventually appear on my Tumblr blog, which is linked down below. Uh, they haven't also posted yet, so this is a little exclusive preview. But yeah, um, if you can't see what I've written here, <laughs> you can go check that out. Um, it'll be tagged writing exercises or writing warm-ups or something. But it, sh it should be easy to find. And there you have it! Thank you so much for watching and uh, subscribe if you like having fun and making stuff. I post videos every weekend about writing and art stuff and it's great. It's, it's a good time. Um, anything else? No, I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you and uh, until I see you next time, take care of yourself. Have fun and mix stuff. Bye.